you know this is a very important suggestion for low gmat scores and i know some of you tried very very hard could not get more than 550 450 or 500 i have a very honest suggestion for you listen if you think you have a good enough profile and if you do not have a lot of money lying around that you want to waste and if MBA was your only path to a relocation, as if you were looking at an MBA only to move to US, Singapore or elsewhere, then do not do an MBA. With a 400, 450, 500 GMAT score, please don't do an MBA. One more, see, one way to look at it is to find, one thing you can do is find best GMAT instructors. We don't teach GMAT anymore. That's not what I'm trying to tell here. But find great instructors on LinkedIn, freelancers, If you, even if you've tried with all the top GMAT companies, find best of the GMAT instructors across the country, across wherever you live in your geographical area. And after, if you've tried everything and nothing, nothing worked, and if you're still in the 500 range and are planning to go to some schools that are not even in the tier 3 category and you're an international student, then again, look at your financial condition or talk to your family or whoever is funding you and see if they are comfortable. See, I'll tell you a story. I had just started my career as a global admissions consultant and there was this college nearby that told us that they have an amazing exchange program. They have an exchange program with a university in the US and they needed GMAT score. And that was the time we had GMAT as a service and we were a month old organization. And we said, you know what, all right, we'll teach the entire class. And we, during the initial aspiration setting session, I realized when we were looking at where you want to go, how much GMAT scores you need, you know what, I realized that the most aspirational guy in that class was planning to score a 550. And there were people who wanted to score as low as 400 as well. And I think though the universities that they were planning to go to exchange programs with, they had a very, very low cutoff. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to name here, I'm not going to name any university here. But two years later, after I taught in that class, I met three of the students of that university and I met them in one of the shopping malls here in Gurgaon. They were carrying backpacks, distributing insurance flyers. And they, one of them caught me and said, you want insurance? And I said, hey, I remember you. I taught you, you went to the US and he said, yeah, you know, I did things. We spent a lot of money, came back, could not, things didn't work out and I'm now selling insurance in this, in this, in this shopping mall. And they were the ones who had chosen the exchange program and had also spent a lot of money on those exchange programs. Listen, if you maybe want to travel internationally, get some strong international exposure, if that's what you're looking for, find another way of migrating. If you can't get the right GMAT score and you know you want to do an MBA, maybe don't do an MBA in, in, with a university that's really not going to support you in getting the right ROI, getting the right jobs. Hey, find a job consultant. See if you go to any of, see, understand, if you go to any of those programs, first of all, you'll study for two years and not earn anything during those times. And even after you spend, finish your MBA, spend a lot of time looking, you'll have to spend a lot of time looking for jobs and a lot of you will end up working in jobs that you do not, that don't require an MBA. Some of you will work in jobs that you will never want to do in your entire life and maybe we'll come back after having spent 60, 70 lakhs of your savings. What I'm trying to say here, say here is, if your GMAT score is really low, like in the low 500 range, and if you do not have a lot of money, and maybe your father or your mom is funding you by taking heavy loans, I think it is better to find a job consultant, someone who has a history of getting you visas and jobs so that you can move to your target country, start working from day one. A job consultant might charge you anywhere between 3 to 10 lakhs. I don't know anyone. Do your research. Do a thorough research before handing over your money to somebody. Right? But instead of going to a really, really bad program, find a way, find an alternative way to fly out. Another suggestion can be, instead of spending $100,000, and listen to this, instead of spending $100,000, spend $3,000 more and visit your university. Buy plane tickets. It's an additional 2 to 3 lakhs expense in Indian in INR. Go there. Meet the people out there. Meet the students, faculty. Find out more about the average salaries. Really see, really see if you can actually see yourself in that setting. Really see what, would, what is happening to people who went before you, like 2-3 years before you, or people who are already studying there. I'm telling you what, this additional 2 to 3 lakhs of tra travel spent will be really worth it. It is like, it's like you will get to date somebody before you getting getting married to them. And 
do this but don't come back selling insurance in the shopping malls if you're really seeking an international education the the news of so once you get an admit in any of the schools, the, the, the initial news, the excitement of getting an admit and the excitement of flying to another country becomes an old news. Your mom, dad will get excited as well without even knowing the kind of place they are paying the money for. So find out, do more amount of research, more research, visit your university, find the ROI, salaries and other things simultaneously. Find a good job a consultant or an immigration consultant so that you can start working directly or finding or start finding ways to score higher, uh, you know, score high on GMAT. Now, suggestion is very, very important for you. Please go to schools that give you good ROI. And instead of the initial 60 lakhs that you were planning to maybe uh, give to a university, that's not going to take you anywhere. Maybe buy a luxury car, give it to your mom, dad, brother. Whoever you think will like it the most, it will make a lot more sense. Thank you. Thank you for watching this. With this, I'm signing off. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.